Moving all these data and stuff as part of your modern data architecture or when you need to do migration stuff, like the, the data format and stuff and compression and all those things also plays a significant role, right, for the bandwidth that you actually will pay for the, for the, for the transfer, right? Yeah, certainly. So definitely in the GCP world and uh, under the AWS world, yeah, data compression is very big. I mean, yeah, if you're not, uh, especially in BigQuery, for example, I mean, even getting your file formats right can really save you a lot in terms of moving data into BigQuery uh, and on egress charges as well. I mean, BigQuery does well with Parquet, more structured file formats. If you've got your data in the wrong format or even uncompressed uh, CSV files, perhaps, you might find a lot of hidden charges again that way, as you say, by just having your data in the wrong format, just maybe not the right the right format for the data in the first place. That's a very big, big call out. Quick note, just on that, most of the modern data tools, BigQuery, Redshift, Snowflake, ClickHouse, et cetera, all of them can load compressed data too. So it's pretty much in your best interest. Store your data compressed, you're going to save money on storage costs, egress charges, and then let them deal with the compute as part of the service. So just a thing to think about as well. So, I mean, as, as the, the lay guy here on, on the data side, um, are, are we saying then that if you've got time to plan it and if you really need to like permanently move your data from one region to another, if you've made that decision, if you've realized that you're, you're running your BigQuery or Redshift in the wrong region, then the plan would be to compress it as well as you can first, spend the extra on the compute in region to do that, then move it. And then if need be, if your tool needs it, then you can decompress it. But most of those will be able to read what you've got. 